I have a question for Mylena. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. If not, then I'm sorry. Mylena is asking me if I can more explain what I meant when I said that only a piece of our soul is in our body and the rest of the soul is in the head. So first of all, to start with, just a little bit of basics is just whoever doesn't know, our soul is part of God. It's not a separate entity from God. Our soul is part of God. As it says, Chelek Eloka Mimal Mamash. That our soul is part of God. And the soul, since it's part of God, its essence and its being is close to God. Since this world was created, that we're going to have souls in body, Neshamot Begufim, then the soul had to descend down to the body. On its journey that it had to descend down to the body, it went through different stages and eventually it came into the body. The soul is so holy, as we say in the morning prayers, Neshama Shinatata Bitehorahi, it's so pure and holy that it cannot be in a, completely in a physical body. So it had to descend down in levels. Now the soul contains like five aspects of it. Uh, one would say maybe levels, but I would use more the term aspects of the soul. The lowest level of the soul is called nefesh. By the way, this whole concept is explained very much in depth in the book of Tanya. You'll find many chapters how it's going in depth explaining all the different levels. And also you can find uh, many explanations in the book of the Zohar, Kabbalah, any other mystical uh, books. But Tanya explains it actually very well. So the lowest level of the soul is called nefesh. The nefesh is found in the blood. As it says in the Torah, ki nefesh hi badam. The, the nefesh is in the blood. Since it's the lowest level of the soul, then it has the ability to interact with the physical body. One of the ways, the way it basically interacts, the nefesh is part of God. It's a godly soul. In our body, there's what's called a nefesh behemit, an animal soul. The animal soul is not part of the soul. It's a spiritual entity that's in our body that opposes the godly soul. Now this is a very long concept which is explained very, very, very in depth in Tanya, but explains it very, very clear. And that animal soul is basically the mediate between the physical body and the spiritual soul, basically in our body. So the lowest level of the soul is called nefesh. Then comes a higher level of the soul, another aspect of the soul, which is called ruach. Ruach is more like the spirit. The ruach is in our body. As it says in the Torah, Vayipach be'apo nishmat chayim ruach adam. The neshama, the soul, is, is, a, is a spirit. The, the man has a spirit in him. The ruach is found in our body. Then comes another level of the soul, which called neshama, which is basically translated as the soul. The neshama, that is the main part of the soul that's in the body which the most part of the neshama is not in the body. A little piece of the neshama is in the body. Some may say that it's somewhere around here in the head. I didn't check. But uh, since the neshama is more connected to the intellect of our, of our being, then it even makes more sense that it's in our head next to the brain. Uh, the ruach and the nesham and the nefesh, what I said before, are found more in the body because they're more connected to the what's called the midos, the attributes of the body, the the, the behavior, uh, less intellect. So the neshama, the soul, just a piece of it is in our body. Main part of it is not in the body. Then comes another aspect of the soul, which is a higher level, which is called a uh, chaya which I can kind of translate it to what people, what people know it as aura. It, is, it cannot penetrate the body, it's like around our body, like an aura. And then the highest level of the soul is called Yechida, which the Yechida is the essence of the soul, which it doesn't even descend down to the body. It stays 
completely in, in, in its essence, in its main uh, uh, place next to God. So this is kind of in general the idea of what I was talking about. Uh, it's funny because in my video I'm giving some examples from the movie The Matrix. So whoever saw the movie The Matrix uh, remembers that they are in a higher, higher world. By the way, wh whoever didn't see the movie or my uh, video, The Matrix is a you know, Hollywood-based film. Uh, they put in some action, it, action in it to make it you know, sell on Hollywood, but the, the idea is the basic idea of Judaism. So you see in the Matrix how the, their bodies are up in the higher world and then they like kind of put them to sleep and they go down, they descend to this world. And then they function in this world and then when they want to go up they use the, the, the phone and then they, whoop, they, does, they disappear from this world and go up to the other world. So this concept is kind of the same, it's, kind of, it's based on, on our belief that the soul is sitting up there in the headquarters. It's, it's completely holy, it's a piece of God, it cannot go down, it's like you can't expect a general to go down to the field and mingle with the soldiers. So our soul is basically sitting in the headquarters upstairs, getting all the, the, that it needs to get in regards to godly revelation, and a piece of it, like a representative, like an like a, a ambassador, is sent down to the body. So this is the idea in general, it's a very deeper concept and one needs to learn it more thoroughly, it cannot be explained in a five minute video, but I suggest who, whoever wants to learn more about it can definitely uh, look into the book of Tanya. I'm going to enclose underneath this uh, video a link where you can buy the book and some uh, websites and uh, phone numbers where you can get online and offline uh, classes. Tanya is, I think, one of the, the most amazing spiritual, mystical book in Judaism, which was written by Rabbi Shneur Zalman from Liadi, who is the founder of the Chabad movement. And I strongly suggest you look into that book, because the book is, is, is amazing. It's basically explaining the psychology of the soul and the, the structure of our physical and animal and spiritual soul, everything that's going on in our body, uh, our intellects, our thoughts, everything, it's just an amazing book. So I hope I answered your question. If not, open the book of Tanya and you can learn a little bit more or you can just ask me any more questions and gladly I will answer.